several months ago. Among the seven worlds, which reside in one of the many realms across the universe, a battle raged between two gods. Valeria, the god of destruction who plotted to destroy the seven worlds. Shushu, the undisputed god of the universe, who vowed to conquer the Seven Worlds. Finally, the battle came to an end, with Shushu and her peon standing victorious. The Seven Worlds belong to her. And now... Shushu, the undisputed god of the universe, is no longer satisfied with the Seven Worlds. So she has decided to embark on a quest to stake her claim on the rest of the universe. And her next target is an area that consists of 12 celestial bodies. These are known as the 12 Glittering Worlds. Shushu, the Twelve Worlds have come into view! Ha! It's about flipping time! Having Twelve Worlds when I only have seven? How stuck up can you be? So that must mean that the god that created these worlds is even greater than Lady Shushu, right? Greater than me, the over- 
overwhelmingly beautiful, undisputed god of the universe? As if. Maybe it's my fault for not being strong enough. I could only break them into seven worlds. I am ashamed. Come on, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Anyway, whatever. Seven, twelve, doesn't matter. They'll all be mine before too long. <laughs> about don't you think you're getting a little over excited no it's not that this is bad it looks like we're surrounded by enemies huh how'd that just happen all of a sudden you were slacking off again weren't you you weren't even looking at the radar no way i was totally looking at it but they honestly just came out of nowhere Shushu, what should we do? Well, that was nice of them to put together a welcoming party. All right, guess it's time to put my power on display for everyone to see. Hmm, I wasn't expecting visitors from another world. I don't know who you are. But now is not a good time for intruders. Hopefully this will be enough to send you home quietly. Track of them all. Doesn't matter how many there are, they're no match for me. Come on, I'll take you all on at once. This looks like a fun match. than I first thought. Okay, then. Let's see if they can handle this. <laughs> too easy! I didn't even break a sweat. Well, not surprising, since we have two gods and a world-dominating demon on our team. 
Come on, you're making me blush. Hey, um, what about me? You're just a peon, Ryuto. Speaking of which, what are all my other peons doing? How dare they let me do all this manual labor? You said they could all take naps until we arrived. Huh? I said that? Seriously? I wouldn't have minded a nap of my own, but I'd be super stressed without someone on guard duty. Huh? Uh, hey, shoo-shoo! Sh sh now what's the problem? Did yelling for no reason get super popular while I wasn't looking or something? Look, over there, some gigantic something is headed our way! Shushu, you think we could try out that one thing? That one thing? Oh, that one thing! You mean it's ready? Yep, it's good to go. We finished up all our last minute adjustments yesterday. Why didn't you say so earlier? Come on then, let's see it. You got it! Born from the blood, sweat, and tears of me and Elka. New and improved G-Castle, now is the time to reveal your strength!
just transformed into a giant robot. <laughs> Fools. What utter fools. Intruders are ever a nuisance. But it seems they may actually provide some entertainment for once. Although, he might not be too happy about it. in a robot so cool hmm. I don't know I'm not a big fan of the design personally oh well Elka was in charge of that department so there wasn't really much I could do about it but just imagine it a robot like this in the hands of its undisputed god like me? This place is gonna be all mine in no time flat. You might not want to get carried away and start making big, bold comments like that. I couldn't agree more. Why not? This is seriously gonna be a snap. She's right. You wouldn't understand, Altus. Whenever you say you're gonna do something, you just end up failing miserably. Sounds like someone else is getting carried away with the itty-bitty little amount of praise he's getting. Ah, sorry! <laughs> Don't pinch my face! Hmm, but if it's too easy, it's not gonna be any fun at all. Ah, I know! Ryuto, go wake everyone up! I just came up with the best idea ever! Here I 
haven't found a thing. Maybe this isn't the place after all. Hmm? What? What is this? A coffin? Could this be it? I feel like it's screaming out to me. It's me! The weapon is inside me! My legendary weapon of destiny must be slumbering inside! Wait, what? It's opening! Uh, I'm not ready for this! Uh, okay, gotta calm down. Deep breaths. <sighs> okay. So, it must be opening on its own because I, the chosen one, have appeared! Excellent! Whatever kind of weapon awaits me, I'm ready to put it to maximum use! Now, show yourself! Legendary! Did it just... make a noise? so badly, then I'll tell you. Listen up! I am now the hero of the Twelve Worlds! Oh, hero? That's amazing! Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, well, to be fair, I'm still pretty new. So it's not, like, super amazing or anything. By the way, what's a hero? Is it actually amazing? Ugh. 
Why'd you act all impressed if you don't even know what it means? Oh, well, it just seemed like you were expecting some kind of reaction, so... Uh, are you mocking me? To poke fun at a hero such as myself? Ugh! You're brazen enough to laugh at a hero, then you must be a demon lord! Oh, absolutely not! I could never be something that sounds so evil. Yeah, no, sorry. That's gotta be it. Rising up before a hero such as myself? Slumbering in an obviously evil coffin? Just admit it! No, really, I'm not, because I'm... Huh? You're... what? I'm... Uh... Um... Hmm. Oh! Now I remember. I'm a god. Uh... Come again? I'm Sirma. God of this world. Nice to meet you. Come on. Say something, please. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Listen, are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? Well... Now I remember! I'm a god! Sounds kinda... you know. Oh, come to think of it, maybe I'm not okay. Right? I'm just glad you realize it. That's just, uh, I mean, right? I'm so hungry, I'm feeling dizzy. I haven't had a thing to eat since I fell asleep. Don't just latch on to me. I'm too hungry. Can't stand up. Oh. Knock it off! Let go already! Ah, oh, jeez. What's with this chick? Well, here we are. But getting here is always such a pain. Hey, you around? You again. As warm a welcome as always. Unlike you, I'm a very busy person. If you have time to waste, don't waste it with me. No need to be rude. I'm here because there's something you should be aware of. Tell me. But before we get to that, how is our sleeping beauty? Sleeping, obviously. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Well then, I suppose I'd better get a look at her face. Hey! Don't just walk off in the middle of a conversation! Wait, did she finally wake up? Oh, no, no, no. Not just yet. I just thought you'd like to know that we have some visitors from another realm. So that's what all that ruckus was about. Oh, so you knew. I meant to drive them out, but they managed to best me. Yet another headache to deal with. Looks that way. So... What's your plan? What? You think you're just a spectator in all this? How annoying. Well, there's no helping that. It's just the way I am. So then, who are these visitors? What do they want? Well, it's mostly just rumor at this point, but... It would seem they're here to conquer the Twelve Worlds. them? 
That's right. The one who seems to be in charge called herself the Undisputed God, if I remember right. Place. Just hold on till then. <sighs> Sorry about all this. I really appreciate everything you're doing for me. Well, you should. Jeez, how'd I get stuck taking care of this weirdo? Just a little longer till I get some food, right? <sighs> I can do this. Listen, if you're having such a tough time, why didn't you leave that stupidly big coffin of yours behind? Oh, I could never do that. If I didn't have my coffin, I'd be in real trouble. Hmm. So is it actually some kind of legendary item or something? It just looks like some normal coffin. But maybe it's actually exploding with magical power! Um, it's not really like that. It's just... I wouldn't have anywhere to sleep without it. I see. You know, I'm getting kind of tired just talking to you. What? Please, I must humbly ask that you not say things like that. What's with the crazy politeness all of a sudden? Feels weird. Oh, but you're giving me food and saving my life. I have to show you my respect and appreciation. Well, don't worry about it, okay? Besides, your initial introduction was so weird, it's silly to worry about propriety now. Yes, I do believe I understand. Uh, um, I mean, sure thing, pal. How is that, Nowsy? I know I said you don't have to be polite, but isn't it a bit much to just jump right into a nickname like that? Is that bad? First you say you want friendly, now you say it's too much. Okay, okay, fine. Call me whatever you want. By the way, what were you doing all the way out there anyway? That coming from someone who is way out there sleeping in a coffin? Well, whatever. Like I told you before, I'm a hero. Oh yeah, I remember that part. You're totally a hero, Nowsy! So, I figured there might be a legendary weapon fit for a hero like myself laying around somewhere. Wow. It must be tough to be a hero. But is it really just that easy to find stuff like that? I don't know. I just became a hero a little while ago. Oh. Is that how being a hero works? Yeah, I guess so. My village elder said that a super evil evil was getting ready to reveal itself. And that awakened my hero's blood. Jeez, a super evil evil? 
heroes really do have it tough. Yeah, it's messed up how evil can just show up out of nowhere. I'm still a new hero, so I'm just enjoying the ride while it lasts. Shushu, look, over here. It looks like we finally found someone. Don't let them get away. Huh? Someone's coming. It looks like it's a boy and a girl. Maybe it's the creature's owner. Good job. Hey, you! How come there's like nobody on this rotten world? Do you have any idea how much time I've wasted here? What? Why are you yelling at me about it? Excuse me, are you the owners of this adorable little pet? It's not a pet, it's my peon. They're all my peons. What do? What do you? What do you? Oh, there's so many. Look at all these peons. You must be a very important person. Not just very important. I'm very, very, very important. <laughs> now listen up. I am the overwhelmingly ultra beautiful undisputed god that has come to conquer this world, Lady Shushu. Wow. You're the overwhelmingly ultra beautiful something something? I'm Lady Shushu. Maybe you shouldn't say stuff like that where everyone can hear you. Why not? I'd look like a chump if I didn't properly introduce myself. Yeah, well, I was mostly talking about the conquer this world part. Wait, did you say you're here to conquer this world? Are you some kind of super evil evil? What? This is what I was talking about. But you are here to take over our world, right? So you must be evil! Okay, yes, I am here to conquer you, but I'm not evil! I gotta say, they do have a pretty good argument here. You really shouldn't fight, Nowsy. Oh, but if she's evil, maybe it's your duty to defeat her? I don't want to fight with her. She's just talking so much crap, I can't help but mess with her a little. Ugh, I don't have time for this. I have to hurry up and conquer the world! Come on, are you serious? You're gonna take over the world? Just the two of you and these little things? 
I could take over a world like this all by myself without breaking a sweat. So listen, who's top dog around here? You know, heroes, demon lords, that kind of thing. Huh? Well, I'm a hero, but... It looks like I'm the one with the most authority here. I am a god, after all. Huh? So the two of you are... Yep. Did you hear that, Ryuta? We found him already! Although, they don't really seem to fit the part, do they? To be fair, our people don't really fit their parts either. Anyway, this is pretty crazy good luck. Yep, I'm just that good. I basically already won. Someone sure is full of themselves. She seems so happy. Oh! Hey, uh, hold on a sec. Did you just say you're a god? Hmm? Oh, yes. I'm a god. Seriously? You're seriously a god? Yep. I'm seriously, seriously a god. No! You can't be a god! Be something else! gods there are, the less important I'll seem. There's only room for one god here. Me! But, Lady Shushu, we already have another god. Oh, Belle doesn't count. She's my friend, Peon. Hmm. But, I can't just stop, you know? Why can't I just stay a god? I said so! Oh, Lady Shushu! If this is gonna be an issue, why not just turn her into a peon? Hey, good idea! That'd solve the problem in a flash! He finally had something worthwhile to contribute, Ryuto! <laughs> why, thank you. So, there you have it! Time for the two of you to become my peons! You keep going on and on about these peons. Why the heck would I ever work for some no-name punk like you? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Fine, whatever. Go ahead and talk big now, but just you wait. Now, see, are you gonna fight after all? When little kids get carried away like this, sometimes your only choice is to beat some sense into them. Now prepare yourselves! I'm about to pee on both your asses! even close to a match for me. I knew you'd do it, Lady Shushu! Oh, we lost. What, what's her deal? She's really strong. Well, duh. I am the undisputed god of the universe. Okay, so, uh, Ryuto, what's their type? Look, it's their engines ready. Huh? How would I know? What? How do you not know? You're the one who said I should make him my peon. Yeah, I did say that. But... Classic Ryuto. Totally useless in the clutch. Hey! That's 
completely not fair. Looks like they're arguing about something. Maybe now would be a good time to make our exit. I can't. Everything hurts. I can't move. Yeah, actually. Me too. Ugh, whatever! I beat both of you fair and square, so hurry up and become my peons already! No, thank you. I would never work for someone like you. Same here. I'm a god, so peon work isn't really my thing. Damn it! Why do you have to be so... Huh? Hey, what's that thing you're dragging around with you? This? Oh, it's a coffin. Coffin? Ryuto, what's a coffin? Who looks pretty friggin' sweet. Um, normally you put dead people in them. Oh, doesn't make much sense to me, but it's pretty badass either way. Hey, give me your coffin! What? I can't do that. It's really important to me. Don't be so selfish. Whatever belongs to my peons belongs to me. Knock it off. She said no. What do you need with a coffin anyway? Well, uh, I could stuff for you two inside. Please don't do that. Just let me have it, okay? You can keep on asking, but I'm going to keep saying no. Ugh. Okay, then let me have it just for a little while. That's okay, right? I'm not sure what you mean by letting you have it just for a little while. Hey, can I look inside? How'd you open this thing anyway? It. Actually, I don't really know how to open it either. Remind me again. You people did come here to conquer the world, right? Lady Shushu never has been very good at keeping her eye on the prize. Maybe if you just move these chains out of the way... Yes! It opens! So that's how you do it. Now, let's take a little peek inside. Ugh, it's so dark I can't see a thing. Hmm? What the? It just started shining. Shushu, what are you? Ah, why'd you close the lid? I, I, I didn't. What? Wait, did it just? Yeah, it just closed itself. Hey, it's black in here. I can't see a thing. Open up right now! Hey! Oh, okay. Let me just... Huh? How do you get it open again? I can't open it! Hurry up! I'm blind as a bat in here! I... Yeah! What was that? Something... Scream sounded really serious. Hey, are you okay? Lady Shushu, what's going on in there? I don't know. A bunch of things just came out of nowhere and grabbed onto me. They're all drippy and gooey and squirmy and... No! Gross, gross, gross! Drippy and gooey? Lady Shushu. 
you in some slippery, slimy, squirmy thing. <laughs> Is your nose bleeding? Oh, oh dear. Uh, um, we need to wipe up this mess. Forget about him. I'm the one in real trouble here. Hurry up and. Yeah! What's going on? Seriously, stop! I'm losing all my strength. No! Oh, come on! That's enough! My nose keeps on getting bloodier! <laughs> there! Hang on, Lady Shushu! I'll save you! Huh? Lady Shushu? Wh Why isn't she answering? This is bad! Lady Shushu? Lady Shushu! <sighs> it won't open. Come on, open up! <sighs> oh! It opened right up! Okay, Lady Shushu! Now I'll save you! Is she okay? She's not dead, is she? Wait, huh? Lady Shushu is gone? Don't be ridiculous. Let me see. Huh? She really is gone. Oh, come on. That's just silly. I'll have a look. Huh? You're right. This can't be happening! Oh, where is she? What'd you do with the Lady Shushu? Uh, I don't know! What? Bring her back! Bring back Lady Shushu! Uh, I, I told you, I don't know where she is! She really did disappear. Huh? Hey, what's that on the back of the lid? See? Right there! Who cares about that right now? Well, it's just... This thing is the same color as... What was her name? Lady Shushu? It's the same color as her hair! Huh? Oh, you're right. It's like a little pink dumpling. Shushu? Well, why is she so tiny? Hmm. Good question. You sound like you don't even care! Ah, Lady Shushu is all tiny and sticky and soft and bouncy and adorable and... Uh... <laughs> Are you enjoying this? I can't help it. Look at her. She's no bigger than a shampoo. It's just too cute. Well, it looks like she's alive at least. But is she okay? Ah, that's right. I don't have time to savor this moment. We need to get her home fast. What do you mean, home? To our base of operations. To G Castle. We're parked right near here. Wow. G Castle. <sighs> I'm alive. Lady Shushu. How do you feel? Too hot? Too cold? Hmm, it could be a little warmer. You got it! Uh... Hey, come on! I need some more hot water here! It's getting all 
lukewarm. Uh... Are you listening? Pay attention. Oh, sorry. I was just marveling at this place. I never imagined you could install such an amazing bathhouse in a ship like this. So, who are you exactly? I told you already, I'm the overwhelmingly ultra-beautiful undisputed god of the universe! Huh? So this dinky little thing that's taking a bath in a food dish is seriously some kind of undisputed god? How dare you call me dinky! This is all your guys' fault anyway! Now hurry up and explain to me just what the hell happened back there! Don't look at me! This is all her fault! Well, actually... She's right. Now that I've had a bath, my head's much more clear, and I'm starting to remember a bunch of stuff. So what? You were still groggy or whatever this whole time? I've been asleep for a pretty long time, you know. I can't help it if it takes me a little while to wake up. Whatever, whatever. Just explain what happened to me. Um, I'd better start from the beginning. Like I said before, I'm a god, just like Shushers. Specifically, I'm the ultimate god. <laughs> ultimate god? What the hell? That sounds like it might be even stronger than Undisputed God. You think so? <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, back on topic. Huh? Now, see? Don't you believe me? Well, she did whoop your butt earlier. Now you're saying you're a god on the same level as her? Oh, good point. Someone as weak as that could never be a real god. Oh, well, you don't quite understand. You see, I... er... we... There are twelve of us ultimate gods. Twelve? My memory's a bit hazy, but I think there was just one god at one point. But then something something... And we got scattered everywhere. So now, I have to return to my single god form. Twelve worlds and twelve ultimate gods. You gotta think that's more than just a coincidence, right? So, why do you want to return to your old form? Are you gonna combine and transform? Of course not. Actually, that's where this comes in. Ahem. It's a little late for tadas. This coffin is actually a tool necessary for returning the scattered gods back into a single form. It absorbs the power of any ultimate god that enters, and once all twelve have gone inside, we'll turn back into... Oh, I get it. So that's why it absorbed my powers? Yeah, seems that way. Maybe it doesn't absorb just ultimate gods, but any god that finds their way in? Maybe? Maybe? Listen, now that we know what happened, give it back already! I'd love to. I don't want it anyway. But for some reason, it just won't come out. What do you mean you don't want it? You're the one that stole it from me in the first place! I'm really sorry, Shushers, but, um, I think since you're not an ultimate god, something went wrong. Listen, let's back it up. Don't you think you're, like, mega overstepping your boundaries by calling me Shushers? Well, you're just so tiny and cute. I thought you needed a cute nickname. No, you don't get to call me that. Okay, we're getting off track here. 
So if you can't give her her powers back, is she gonna stay dinky forever? Wait, am I? That is unacceptable! Give me back my powers right now! Okay, just hold on. Um, I think it's at full capacity right now since Shushers had so much power to absorb. So if it can absorb a proper ultimate god's power, I think some of Shushers' power might leak out. Hmm, I see. I guess my overwhelming power was just too much for it to handle. Wow. That's all it took to convince her, huh? But I gotta say, it doesn't make much sense to me. Making one god's power leak out by absorbing another god's? Yeah, you know, like, trip, trickle, tribble. Hey, don't use weird words like that. It sounds wrong for some reason. Really? Well, what about squirt? That's a billion times worse! Anyway, what are you gonna do? You gonna go with her on her quest? I need to track down these so-called ultimate gods and get my body back! Shushers is coming with us! Yay! I'm so happy! I told you not to call me that! I wonder what I should do. It's not like I have to go with you, but it seems kind of dangerous to let you run loose. Plus, a new adventure and free act the sweet bathhouse doesn't sound half bad. Excuse me. May I join the conversation now? Nudge. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What does it look like? 
I gotta say, I'm kinda jealous. You get a cute girl like this all to yourself every single night. What the hell are you talking about? First of all, we sleep in totally different... Anyway, what are you still doing here? You're done with what you came here to do, right? Actually, no. This is the main reason I came here. Squish, squish. You're here to grope her face? Huh? No, don't be ridiculous. What kind of silly thoughts must be rattling around that head of yours? Well, what other explanation is there for what you're doing? There's a very important reason I'm doing what I'm doing. Just watch. Squeeze! I'm telling you, knock it off! Just as I thought. See? She wants you to stop! Hey, are you okay? Uh, my face hurts. Come on, you can't be serious. Are you really still asleep? Hey, what are you... What's going on? Why is she waking up? There's no doubt about it. If this one's awake, I'm sure the other one is too. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. After all this time... Oh, but hold on. Technically, it's more like, since that one's awake, this one is. That doesn't matter right now! Young man. Anyway, you should probably go freshen up a bit.